flows sex biological surrender and samadhi existential surrender so it is right sex is deeply related with surrender if you have known deep sex you will be more capable of surrendering because you have known a deep pleasure that follows surrender you have known a bliss that comes as a shadow of surrender then you can trust trust is born in you sex is biological surrender and samadhi the cosmic consciousness is existential surrender through sex you touch life and through samadhi ecstasy you touch existence you move even deeper than life the basic existence is touched through sex you move from yourself to another person in samadhi you move from yourself to the whole to the cosmos to existence tantra is if you will allow me a cosmic sex it is a falling in love with the whole cosmos it is a surrender towards the whole cosmos you have to be passive to a limit you have to be active but beyond that limit you are not needed you are an obstruction then then leave it to the life force leave it to the existence the second thing if you go on thinking about surrender as negative and passive nothing is wrong in it it is passive and negative but the negativity and the passivity is nothing to be condemned in our minds the moment we hear the word negative some condemnation enters the moment we hear passive some condemnation again enters because for the ego both of these are deaths nothing is wrong in being passive passivity is a way to be deep to be in deep contact with the universe if you want to hear the silent whispers you have to be passive and you cannot be active with it that is the difference between religion and science science is active with the universe religion is passive with the universe science is just like the male mind active violent forcing religion is feminine mind open passive receptive this receptivity is always passive and truth is not to be created it is to be received you are not going to create the truth the truth is already there you have to receive it you have to become the host and then truth will become your guest and a host has to be passive you have to be like a womb to receive it but your mind is trained for activity to be active to do something and this is the realm where whatsoever you do will become an hindrance do not do anything just be this is what passivity means do not do anything just be and allow that which is already there to happen to you you are not needed creativity you are not needed creatively actively to do something you are needed just to receive it be passive do not interfere nothing is wrong with passivity 
पोइट्री हैपन्स वेन यू आर पैसिव मिर्जा गालिब से आते हैं मजामी ख्याल में गैब से दीज थाट्स दैट आर फ्लोइंग थ्रू मी दे आर कमिंग फ्राम एन इन्फिनिट हराइजन इन अ पैसिव अप्रोच वेन यू आर टोटली पैसिव रेडी टू रिसीव दैन द मैसेज फ्लो इन टू यू इवन द ग्रेटेस्ट डिस्कवरीज ऑफ द साइंस हैव हैपन्ड इन पैसिविटी but the attitude of science is active even the greatest thing in science happens only when the scientist is passive just waiting not doing anything and religion is basically passive what is buddha doing when he is meditating our language our terms give a false impression when we say buddha is meditating it appears because of the term used that he is doing something but meditation means a state of total not non doing a passivity if you are doing something nothing will happen but all doing is just like sex in the beginning you have to be active and then a moment comes when activity ceases and you have to be passive when i say buddha is meditating i mean buddha is no more he is not doing anything he is just passive allowing the existence to flow into him he is like a host waiting just waiting and when you are waiting for the unknown you cannot even expect anything you do not really know what is going to happen because if you know then waiting becomes impure and desire enters into it so do not do anything all that you had known has ceased all the known dimensions are dropped the mind is not functioning it is just simply waiting and then everything happens miracles happen to you the whole universe flows into you the whole universe enters from all sides into you all the barriers are withdrawn you are not withholding yourself simply you are flowing nothing is wrong with passivity rather your activity is the problem but you are trained for act for activity because you are trained for violence struggle and conflict and it is good as far as it goes because in the world you cannot be passive in the world you have to be active fighting forcing your way but that which is so helpful in the world is not helpful when you move towards a deeper dimension of existence then you have to reverse your steps be active if you are moving in politics in society in riches or for power be inactive if you are moving into god into religion into meditation passivity is the way there and nothing is wrong about the negative either nothing is wrong negative only means that something has to be dropped for example if i want to create a space in the room what am i going to do what is the process to create a space in the room what am i going to do can i bring 
extra space from outside and fill this room I cannot bring a space from outside the space is already there that is why it is called a room but it is filled with the people or furniture or things so I take the things and people out of it isn't it so then the space is discovered that was already there not brought from outside or any other source it was already here but filled so I do a negative process I simply empty it this is what negativity means negativity means emptying yourself not doing something positive because that which you are trying to discover is already there just throw out the furniture thoughts are the furniture in the mind just throw them out and mind becomes an empty space and when the mind is a space it becomes your soul your being your Atman your rule but when it is filled with thoughts desires it is mind empty it it is not mind negation is the process of elimination eliminate the things that are occupying the space within so do not be afraid of the word negative and passive if you are afraid you can never surrender surrender is passive and negative it is a moment of waiting it is not something you are doing rather you are leaving all your doings you are leaving the very notion that you can do you cannot do this is the basic feeling only then is there surrender it is negative because you are moving into an unknown space the known is left far behind enough for now